Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today and today it is finally here, FIFA 19 is here and today we're going to be kicking off with a Juventus career mode now if you follow me on Twitter you know that I was going to be planning this for a while I had the thumbnail sorted for a while uh, I just wanted to kick this off with a big team on the YouTube channel getting this back into the swing of things obviously I took a break for a while doing YouTube I explained that in the previous video but I'm going to revive the Juventus scrim, which I started in FIFA 18, and bring it back into FIFA 19, as I think the team they've got is a very, very strong side, and I want to be winning a lot of trophies with them. So this is the team that we're going to be going with. This is the quick little brief intro, obviously. The game's just come out at midnight. I've just picked it up, and I want to, I want to get loads of videos made and ready. So this is the brief intro. This is only going to be the live. This is going to be the only live bit of the video. And for probably most of the first maybe five episodes, I'm going to be doing it. Uh, I'm going to record all the gameplay and then edit it and voice over post commentary after I record it. Just so it's easier for me and uh, quicker for me to edit and record and stuff like that. So if you are keen for this, uh, this series, then please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next bit. Right guys, as you can see here, we are at the stage of the pre-season tournament invitation. Obviously... I'm going to accept it and I'm going to go for the one with the most money uh, because obviously it'd be stupid not to go for the one with the most money. Um, basically, <clears throat> like I said before, I'm going to be doing post commentary for this because uh, obviously I uh, I find it easier to record. It. I find it easier for me. Uh, so yeah, basically, I'm just going through the emails, obviously the standard career modes intro and uh, starter like objectives, I guess. And then we move into, obviously I wanted to go look and have a little overview of the board objectives. Obviously Juventus is a big team, so <clears throat> as you can see there, over, uh, overview, they want us to win the Champions League, win the Serie A, and then win the Copa Nacional. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a tough ask, because obviously I'm going to be playing this on u ultimate difficulty. So it is, uh, we'll see how, uh, how I get tested, and hopefully I can at least win something in the first season, because I do plan to make at least two seasons of this. Um probably going to take one season then a season off doing another career mode and then uh, bring it back maybe or bring two at the same time so obviously there's a quick scan of the um, objectives uh, you guys can have a little read through uh, I've got 162 million pounds worth of funds which is great because I do need to make some signings as uh, Juventus' squad depth is not very good I think I show it here uh, when I'm changing the team around uh, that actually the reserves there's about like six players so obviously i need to improve that and make uh, a couple of signings i'm kind of looking at the midfield area uh, uh, uh in terms of like players i can see there look what two four six seven eight players in the reserves i'm kind of probably going to be getting in a couple of center mids but i will let you guys decide on transfers i'll say it now and i'll say it at the end of the video comment down below your transfer targets please make them uh, at least decent or realistic but yeah I'll let you guys decide who and then obviously next episode I'll look through and see who's the best ones but we go into our first pre-season game against a Chinese uh, club um, obviously Liverpool and Real Madrid are in the other two teams in the group Pjanic does uh, score the first goal for the career mode followed up by Cancelo in the 36th minute Alexandro Barrios won just after half time and uh, we're looking pretty comfortable I don't see us losing this game at all uh, moving on into the latter stages of the game. Is anyone else going to score? Yes. CR7 himself. I knew that was coming. I kind of hesitated then because I wasn't sure if it was the right game. But we do get a 4-0 victory. We get an offer from uh, Man City for Chesney. I rejected that straight away. £28 million. Pounds. Uh, he's my main keeper. I'm not going to be selling him. There's no chance that's going to happen. So we're going to move on into our next game against Liverpool, which is a great game. They all lost 2-1 to Real Madrid in the first game. <laughs> Um, so their team's quite strong. Uh, they've got quite a few youngsters in there, though. Well, I know Liverpool play a few youngsters. They obviously they actually take a one nil lead. Mane getting the goal in the 35th minute. Navi Keita comes on in the 47th minute. Storage comes on for Salah in the 60th minute. And man like the uh, not Diego Costa, Douglas Costa scores in the 67th minute for us to pull one back to make it one one. And we we take the draw. We take the draw. One 0 draw uh, away to Liverpool. Moving on into the next game, and it's Real Madrid. What a game this is. Obviously, for the uh, group stages, I like to just record and sim them instead of playing them. But as you can see there, we do take a 1-0 lead from Dybala. 
who is a, a very good player, young player. He's going to grow a lot throughout this series. Pjanic gets another goal in preseason. Ronaldo, of course, he scores against his old club uh, in the 59th minute. I'm pretty sure this settles it. A uh, 3-0 win for us. I don't think anything else happens later on. No, it doesn't. So, with that win, we actually progress into the next game, which is the semi-final against Al Nazar or now Al Nazri. I don't know how you would pronounce that. 81st minute, 85th minute, Chan picks up an injury, but who scores? Ronaldo scores. In the 90th minute, Chan is only out for four days, so it's not actually that bad as what I was expecting because obviously on when you sim games uh, the injury rate is much higher so I was expecting the, like a few weeks or a couple of months which is normally what happens but as you can see here guys PSG is the team we will be facing in the final of the Asian Elite Cup the preseason cup we've done so far we've done all right so far we've ha we haven't lost the game yet which is very good um obviously this is my first game on FIFA 19 on the full game so I kind of dove straight into it I uh, didn't really think about it to be honest and uh, I'm obviously I'm playing this career mode on ultimate difficulty every career mode I will be playing it will be on ultimate difficulty so trying to get used to the game was uh, quite hard to start off with in the first half but as you can see here Ronaldo's breaking through this is just from the kickoff I wanted to include like the start just to show you uh, my first like attack I guess of the game but then we move into the 10th minute, Dybala gets the ball played out to him, really nice pass, he whips it in, Ronaldo is there, it was set up for him, the glory was there to put us in the lead, but obviously the defender got there ahead of him, which is unfortunate, but um, the, I, I, I think it was Verratti, he plays a great ball to Mbappe, what a ball, what a cross from Mbappe, and Neymar, coolly side foot volleys into the top corner, maybe Chesney could have saved that, I don't know, the, the defender wasn't great either, and uh, obviously Neymar showing off there with the celebration, but... 13 minutes in, it's not great, is it? Mbappe, quality player, quality ball in, and uh, we go again. So 1-0 um, down, which uh, I, I wasn't surprised because obviously ultimate difficulty of playing against PSG. It's, it's going to be hard. So literally two, two, three minutes later, Neymar whips it in, and literally what Mbappe did to Neymar, assists, whips it in, volleys, and it's a goal. And yeah, so we're 2-0 down to PSG already so yeah it's not looking great Mbappe and Neymar picking up the goals but we do pick up the ball with Dybala plays a nice ball to Kadira down to Ronaldo I was going to try and cut that to Dybala first time but it, he does end up getting it and I've scuffed the shot that is that should be going in uh, I think I should have used the time finishing there I didn't I just used a normal shot and it obviously didn't didn't pay off did it so uh, Cancelo picks up the ball swings it into Pjanic lays off to Dybala unlucky there I think that was Kimbembe who blocked that he's a really good centre back actually Kimbembe uh, we whip the ball in, Ronaldo's there, front post, he misses it, Douglas Costa nearly gets the chance at the back post, but the defender just about clears it. Uh, we keep the ball, I think we move on with Alexandro here, he plays a nice 1-2 of Kadira. I don't know if I shoot here, no, I play it to Ronaldo, he cuts inside, I wanted to do a nice finesse shot, and it bloody bounces off Dybala's head, so I don't know if that was going in, you know, it could have gone in, it could have changed the game early in this half, but we had another chance here, I was just pressing and pressing, Ronaldo intercepts it, Costa... And it's a great tackle by Munier. So, obviously, that is the half-time um, point. Uh, I bring up the stats quickly, briefly. They've had two shots, two goals, two shots on target. We've had four shots, two shots on target. Um, I decided to take Pjanic off for Bernard Asche here. And I wanted to swap Kadira with Bernard Asche, So, he's on the right side, kind of. Like, obviously, that's his natural side, the right side. Because um, Bernard Asche is a really good player. But, obviously, he's not going to start ahead of Douglas Costa, Ronaldo, or... Um, uh, Dybala so uh, we brought him on to just to boost up the midfield and as you can see I made a really bad error there trying to pass that back to Ronaldo I wanted it to like lay off into the the D so Ronaldo could just shoot but we do pick up a throw in here Costa nice ball into Ronaldo he holds the ball up really nice pass into Bernadache of course the super sub pulls one back for us I tried to pick the ball up there and it just wouldn't work so I just ran off to uh, do a celebration but we do pull one back there in the 52nd minute Really nice goal, to be fair, from a great pass from Costa. Ronaldo, lovely little pass. As you can see there, I did bring on a centre mid for, I believe, yeah, Kadira. And um, he was straight into the action. He got picked up the ball from Matuidi here. Plays a nice through ball down to uh, uh, Matuidi. He played it back to him. And I've scuffed it. I've completely scuffed it, like the Dabala chance. I should have used a time finishing or maybe a low driven shot, but... That's not that's not to worry. We do get more many more chances. Ronaldo picks the ball up here. He plays a lovely through ball to Costa. He's running down the wing. I tried the load during there. See now that's the that's the time to probably use the, the time finishing across goal. But we do get the ball again. We're pressing on really high here and we're we're getting the ball a lot. 
Uh, Matuidi picks up the ball, plays it across to Costa, a lay off for Ronaldo, it's written in the stars, but he scuffs it and it's straight at the keeper's legs and they clear the ball. We go again in the 69th minute, we're pressing on really high, great ball over to Dybala, Dybala's running in, I took my, t I took too long to shoot, I did a low driven, see, uh, probably a time finish or a finesse shot was probably better to be there, but they push on in the 80th, 80th minute in the latter stages and pff, what can you do about that? What can you do about that? I think that was Cavani. Um, just drills it first time. Yeah, Cavani drills it first time. Cross goal, great goal. Um, and again, how can what what is Chesney supposed to do there? Top corner. That has literally gone right in the top corner from. I don't even know who that was. Who was that that's come up? Yeah, Draxler. Draxler in the 89th minute kills the game off. That was full time, and I skipped their celebrations. I don't care about their celebrations. So. Anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. It's quite a short one because obviously I want to pump out the content and make it. So if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Player of the episode is probably going to be Pjanic because of the preseason he did. He scored a few goals from centre mid. So make sure to comment your transfer targets down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.